Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for September 22nd. We're currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair closed down during today's session. It is moving within a range, moving sideways um, with a bias that is sideways currently. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 92.61, possibly as low as 90.28. Look for some resistance around 91.60 and look for some support around 90.50. Now switching to the Euro USD pair, this particular pair closed up. Uh, it did break and close above previous resistance. Uh, so we have this pair moving up with a bias to the upside. We are looking for this pair to potentially hit 149.03, possibly as low as 145.98. Look for some resistance around 148.20 and possibly some support around 147.40. Now, let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. This pair closed up today. It has reversed. Overall, it is moving sideways. If we back out, you can kind of see it. Uh, we do have a potential for a uh, for this pair to continue moving high, uh, higher. Uh, Currently, we have the bias to sideways, and it is moving sideways. Do look for this pair to potentially go as high as 164.13, possibly as low as one. Actually, this number is 164.97, with a potential low of 160.94. Look for some resistance around 164.13, and look for some support around 162.63 in this pair. Let's take a look at the Swiss, the U.S. Swiss. This pair closed down, did break previous support. Uh, so we are st looking for this pair to continue moving lower with a bias to the downside. If it does reverse, look for 1.0389, possibly as high or as low as 1.0149. Look for some resistance around 1.0282 and possibly some support around 1.0200. Now, as far as news announcements, we have the grand data of them all being released tomorrow, uh, but we'll get to that just in a minute. We do have the Euro, the uh, Eurozone, the Eurozone releasing the French Consumer Spending Report for August at 2:45 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that is that it has gone down from 1.2 percent to 1 percent. Uh, this is a, a news announcement that wouldn't necessarily move the market all that much. So just keep that in mind when it is released. Now, at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, the U.S. is releasing their FOMC rate decision. Uh, and that will most likely be held at 0.25%. But if they do change it, which I don't anticipate they will, but if it does, it really could influence the U.S. dollar. Now, we also have the Australian Reserve Bank uh, releasing their uh, financial stability review, and that is going to be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, no real consensus on that because there's no numbers. It's more of just a review of that. The details of this report, though, could influence the uh, Australian dollar significantly, so you may want to keep a note about that. Now, as far as what I'm looking at during this next session, uh, between now and uh, tomorrow at one or at uh, two fifteen p.m. Eastern Time, I do believe the U the Euro USD will move sideways uh, due to this. You can already see that it has started. This is the hour time frame. You can very very distinctly see a range there. Uh, obviously, it did break above it during this last hour, but it has pulled back significantly uh, from those highs, and I believe will will basically go sideways for the most part. So if you have a good counter trend strategy to go ahead and use it to profit over the next several sessions uh, or several hours into this next session, you could definitely make some money. Now, if you don't want to do that, take a look at the U.S. Canadian dollar pair, this particular pair on the hour on the day time frame. This pair created a swing trade setup um, over the past three sessions. Let me draw that trend line. As you can see, it has broken it and pulled back. Now, if it does return, now we have a horizontal line. The reason I drew it there 
We have right here, uh, it found this session found support there. This session closed there, found support. And of course, this one opened there. Uh, so if we get a return of this moving lower, we could look to sell short on the break and look to take profit right there at the horizontal line. Now, I realize that's not a, a significant amount of money but or a significant amount of pips, but you are talking about 24, 23 to 24 pips right there. Uh, you know, and you, you have to deal with the spread, obviously, but it's a, at least a good 15 pips is what I'm looking to take out of that little scalp there uh, if the market pulls back uh, down and moves lower. Uh, if we get that, I do believe it will go ahead and fill that gap there. Something else that I noticed uh, in the pound U.S. dollar pair, if we pull back a little ways, we have uh, somewhat of a head and shoulder situation that has formed. It's come back up and has come back down. Now it tagged, it didn't quite tag this low. So um, with this head and shoulders formation, you need to you know, definitely keep an eye on this. Normally you would take the break of the uh, trend line, which did occur. If you draw your trend line, it has already occurred, but I would look for a break of this trend line nonetheless so that uh, you can Keep an eye on it. Let me draw that out for you real quick. So I have a break there, and we also will have a break from this one. The distance between these two, uh, when this is broken, I'm not sure when that will be, but when it is, we should, if, especially if this pair comes on down, we should get a break of those two and be able to profit between the two. Pretty significant. Uh, support there due to the trend lines. It wouldn't be a whole lot, but here again, it's another quick little 20 pip scout that you could do. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.